Yo, what's up guys, looking at Foundry and Team Doubles. Yes, as you notice, you can blow up those barrels from behind with a brute shot or with a frag grenade. Um, and I always do that in case those barrels screw me up. You should always have one person push drainer and then the other guy to push rockets. That way, if your guy at drainer can kill the other guy going to drainer, they can help you out with the guy at rocket. Power weapons on this map are really critical because they all spawn next to each other, so if you have a power weapon, you need to get kills with it as well as to hold this side of the map. There's two snipers and, you know, the rockets. They all spawn, like, I think it's 90 seconds. I'll check that in a second. And so you really need to control this map. This is the better side for rockets because you can sit behind the other spot to the left of me on that ledge and use the rockets as people jump. And then this side right here where I'm standing is a good side to have your sniper if you have control of the sniper and rockets. As you probably noticed already, this video is in different quality, better quality than my other videos and that is because someone else has captured the video for me. Credit to King Wacka, or however you pronounce that name. So, big credit to him. The reason why my videos are not in HD is I'm a college student and you don't have money when you're in college because of tuition and whatnot. I'm a senior at UNCC and um, I'm studying Japanese and international studies is my major. So, all my expenses go towards college, you know, tuition and books, so... That's why I do not invest heavily on a capture card. I'm sorry if it sucks, but, you know, I'm glad that some of you have adopted the mentality that aesthetics are not everything, and you still watch my videos and enjoy them, so that's really cool that, you know, many of you don't look at the aesthetics only. When you're losing games like this, or rather losing map control, and this map's really hard to gain map control because there's no middle area to push through it's very open you should go back to the base and get bubble shields they spawn very quite fast so you want to get these and then push up with them and these will really help you survive guy misses with his rocket and I get a nice kill on him and as you can tell this game has been off host not too laggy but still there are some instances of lag After the game starts you really don't want to push drainer because that area is so open and you can get team BR from anywhere. The reason why I didn't die right there is I pushed through the uh, drainer when it was thrown at me. Usually people back away when a drainer is thrown at you and that's not very smart. You want to actually do the opposite, go right at him because the drainer is going to come at you and roll past you and through you and it, will take, it won't damage you as much or take your shields down that quick rather than backing up because the drainer is already flying at you. So you want to actually go the opposite direction. I'm not sure if you got a melee or if the explosive damage from the brute shot is what made my screen red. But I'm not going to complain kill is a kill. When you get BS kills, I mean, you gotta accept it, and when you get BS deaths, then you gotta accept that too. Everyone gets their fair share of that. Notice how it's like switching to my BR back and forth, because if he's one shot, I want to save the rockets, and just clean the person up with the BR. Now I know they're both on A side, so I'm not going to push because as soon as I jump it's very open. The other guy actually came from Drainer from A side to B. Nice double kill here. And this is a very handy jump on this map. Cuts down time and it's just very tactical. You can also jump on the other side of that little door opening thing. 
Um, but the side that I jumped is better. I choke with my rocket and with the no scope. Since there's so many power weapons on this map, you're usually going to run into the situation that you'll have two, and that can be good and bad. Bad if you're getting double teamed because the sniper can only shoot so fast, and if they're both next to you, it's really hard to kill both of them. And if you have to reload your rockets, and then you only have a few bullets left in your sniper, it can be very difficult to kill them. And when you die, you lose two power weapons. Always try to give your partner another power weapon if you have two. For my next gameplay guys, I was thinking about doing it in Finnish or in Japanese because I speak Finnish as my second native language and I speak some Japanese because I'm studying it. Please post below which one you would like to see and just a little experiment for you guys and it's a good linguistic test for me as well. So please post below. We push up to kill the last guy. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.